You know what time it is, you're back with the Crow Bros, and today we're talking aero precision. This is the EPC-9 pistol caliber carbine. Is it a shooter or a piece of shitter? Let's find out. Okay, we're down in the pistol range. Let's put some rounds to this thing. Brent, I haven't really had a real chance to shoot this weapon yet, but do you think there's a break-in period on this? Oh, I'm assuming there's probably at least uh, a little bit. Anytime you wanna get some parts to wear in with each other, especially on a new build or a new assembly. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, I like that follow-up. Got a good balance to it. Nice little green dot on here. Oh yeah, recoil and pulse is pretty manageable, absolutely for a nine millimeter. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm digging it. The control is super familiar, obviously AR style. You, just, you know, all of the uh, uh, weapons manipulations, controls and otherwise are gonna be super familiar to you guys at home. It's basically an AR. The only thing that's a little different is obviously it's gonna take pistol mags. But as far as the bolt release safety and otherwise, it's all gonna feel very similar. I do like the extended magazine release on this. I think they have to do that to fit the Glock platform mags, which is what obviously the arrow precision is taking, which is also pretty cool, uh, especially on your sidearm. If you're gonna rock a Glock, it takes the same magazine. So that's uh, kind of nice to be able to carry all the ammunition for both sure. platforms. It's, uh, I definitely understand the setup and uh, I'm definitely digging it. I thought the best thing to do would be brand loyalty. I went with an arrow upper, an arrow lower, an arrow buffer system, arrow, arrow, arrow handguard. The only thing that's different in this thing is the rise armament uh, trigger that I put in there, which I like, and the Faxon four inch barrel. So everything in this is arrow precision except for the barrel, Faxon, and rise armament trigger. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. What are your impressions of it? What are you thinking? I, I, I've got an H3 in there. I think I'd like to maybe use a bit of a heavy buffer. The recoil is soft as butter. Yeah, I'm digging the recoil for sure. She goes quick. I absolutely love it. I want to trust it. I really do. But I, I don't yet. Why? What's your hesitation on it? Well, there... is it a dead trigger? It's a dead trigger. Yeah, I got one already too. Maybe it just needs to work. Let's see if it went into the battery. No, it didn't. Let's see. She's sticky. You know, it could be a break in period. Yeah. I did oil it. It's been lubed. It's been lubed. Function checked. Head space. It's the way it should be. When it runs, Clear. it sure is sweet. It runs. The bolt locks open. The recoil impulse is really quite something. I've got a heavy buffer in there. Yeah. Well, we're trying a couple different mags, so we can see what she does. All right. Stop resisting! Show me your ID! <laughs> different mags seems to be running a little better. I don't know, that was, I haven't had a malfunction on this one yet. Maybe she just does need to wear in a little bit. Let's put some more rounds through it. I don't know, YouTube. Maybe, maybe the five round magazines work better than the 10 round magazines. Yeah, right? <laughs> five. Right. Man, that is going when right. When it runs, it runs. It does. I'm watching the chamber. I keep waiting for a malfunction. It's not doing it. But yeah, really. I'm enjoying it. it more and more as I'm getting going with this. I thing. feel like it's getting better. And now that we're putting some rounds, we'll probably what have a couple hundred rounds to do this now? Yeah. Three? Three or four hundred rounds? I think we're about four hundred now. Now she's starting to loosen up a little bit. Oh yeah. I love the accuracy. <laughs> you can give him eyeballs from here. It's awesome. Alright, I got one more in there. Walking back to the rear now. 
Getting nice ejections. Yeah, she's running. She's running great. I think it's turning into a runner. I wanted an HK MP5 SD so badly, and it was a real pain in the ass to tuck the suppressor into this, you know, four inch barrel, seven inch handguard to make it look all sexy like this. I love the way that uh, looks. I, <laughs> Especially how hot cans get, so it really kind of helps protect you from Absolutely, that. this thing is trick. Yeah, I'm a fan. The only thing I'm not a, a huge fan of, and this is just, this isn't because of arrow, but the magazines on this thing are really kind of hard to drop free. Sure. Uh, like you would be used to on an AR where they just kind of pop out. Some do better than others. This one's doing all right. But when you do like a Glock factory mag in that, it's pretty stiff yeah. to get in and out of there, but it's all right. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's smooth. It's fun. Oh yeah, super pointable too. Absolutely. I'm just doing two to the body, one to the head. And it's right there. I really like what you've done with it, man. I really do. Nice shooting, brother. Nice. Yeah, she's definitely running a lot better now that we put some ball in it. Though you know the one uh, 124s running great. Flat nose 147s unfortunately aren't getting it which is unfortunately the kind of the intent of the build, but hopefully we can work past that. You've got a kick-ass gunsmith that we could probably drop this off with and see if he can do something with it. I told you, B, this, this gun started its life as a Form 1 SBR. Yeah, Moving. I literally bought the Move. lower and let it sit there until I got my stamp back and I knew what I wanted to do from the beginning with this thing. No regrets. I'm glad that I built it out the way that I did. I love the tuck suppressor. Yeah, I mean, it's literally just blowing the center out of that target. It, it absolutely is. I mean, almost is. all of them are in the A zone, except for some of mine. <laughs> I, ice cold. Yeah. Don't have to worry about the, the heat of the suppressor. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot of heat coming out of it at all. I like the safety on it. It throws quick. I really like that mag release on it a lot. Really digging that. It, it's just you don't have to rearrange your hand sure. to get to it, or otherwise it's just right there. Uh, mags uh, changes are a little weird, but... Not bad, not bad at all. I can't even get the Glock to flip out. Can you flip her? Can you, can you oh, get yeah. the John Wick flip? There, yeah, drop. Hey, if you hold okay. it at just the right angle, it will. All right. Kind of give it a little swing. Nope. Yeah, it, it's dropping free. Some of them are. It's fun, man. It's a fun little package. Aero Precision EPC 9mm pistol caliber carbine. We're out of daylight, ammunition, and energy. So let's wrap this thing up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. Adam, take us out of here. You guys, the best compliment you can offer us is to subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment. I'm Adam. I'm Brent. This is our fearless cameraman, Patrick. We're, We're the, the Crow, Crow Bros. Bros. Thanks so much for watching. you to dump your entire load into all those things in front of you. Also, shoot the target. Shut the That's fuck cool. up, turkey. That was fun. That was yeah. great. I liked it. It was alright. Could be better. EPC 9mm! <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I'm the, the Crow Bros. I'm the fucking camera still. Yeah.